Hello, my beautiful friends. Hope you're doing amazing. Today, we're going to be ranking my top 10 blushes, if that's something you'd be interested in. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Audrey. Thank you so much for being here. Please consider subscribing down below before you leave. We talk about makeup over here. I'm just a mom who loves makeup, and that's what we do. And if you're returning, hi, hello, welcome. I love and appreciate you, and um, let's get started. If you're interested in anything that's on my face today or anything that I talk about, everything is always linked down in the description box. Some of those links are affiliated links, and that means if you choose to shop through them, I do receive a small commission and no extra cost to you, and that always just goes straight back into my channel. Thank you so much for your support. Okay, let's get back into ranking my blushes. Okay, so these are my top 10 blushes right now. And these are my top 10, meaning they're my top favorite. And we're just going to rank them from 10 to 1. Obviously, there's some blushes that didn't make it into the top 10. So sad. <laughs> but these are my top 10 today, right now. And um, just take this ranking with a grain of salt. This is how much joy that these blushes give me. I am going to swatch them all for you so you can see the colors. And yeah, just tell you why they are where they are. So. With that, number 10, oh, I'm going to be looking over at my little cheat sheet over here, too, if you see me looking down here. Okay, number 10 is the Givenchy Prisma Libre, Libre Blush in 4 Organza Cien. This is the only shade I have. This is kind of newer to my collection, but dang. <laughs> the packaging is incredible. I mean, the like the top is. It is, however... A powder blush so you have the little poof in there and then the powder loose powder I mean delivery system wise that's probably why it's number 10 because it does make kind of a mess and um, but the formula is absolutely gorgeous so that is me just pushing it in to my hand with the little puff, whatever's left over on the puff. But because it's a loose powder, it's so, so beautiful. It's very finely milled, obviously. <laughs> and it like, it just looks so smooth and gorgeous on the skin. It's incredible. But I mean, loose powder wise, that's not my favorite delivery system. That would be really cool if this formula was like not loose powder. I bet that'd be beautiful. Um, and like this color is a little bit more, I don't know. It's like, it's a little different than what I normally go for. You'll see in here, I kind of have a type and this is just a little bit more like corally red. So I'm not reaching for it every day, but this is absolutely beautiful. 100% number 10, mostly because of the loose powder aspect, but it's so gorgeous. I mean, it's gorgeous. Number 10. Givenchy. Next, number nine is the Guerlain Terracotta Blush. I got mine in the shade Light Pink. So I only have one shade of the Givenchy and one shade of the Guerlain. Um, this is gorgeous. Number nine, it smells so strong. I think this is the strongest smelling blush I've ever smelled. How do they how do they get their powders to smell so strong? I understand like in like a foundation, those have scents sometimes and like lip products and stuff, those have scents, but a powder blush, man, it's wild. It is, it smells very strong, which is not a deal breaker for me, but I'm just like, dang, every time I open it. Um, and this light pink color is very much, um, pink like it, it it's a pink blush it's probably the most pink blush that i have um it's right here right yeah right here um so it is a very it's a buildable formula which is not my top favorite um application as you'll start to see kind of as we go to the top which is why it's coming in at number nine i absolutely love it still it's still in my top 10 but the color, the pink color, like, I mean, it's gorgeous. And I love having it from when I want, like a more cool tone pink. But it's very, it starts off very soft and you have to build it up. And I like a lot of blush look. So that's why it's coming in at number nine. It has a click closure. I mean, the packaging is exquisite. I love 
that girl on packaging. It's so pretty. But number nine, right behind the Givenchy. Number eight is going to go to, um, yeah, it's, we've had a lot of good blushes. <laughs> it's a little surprising to me. Number eight goes to the Gucci Blush Debut, and I have mine in the shade 05 Rosy Beige. Um, this is gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. It was my top favorite for a long time. It's so much more, it's so much more creamier than the Guerlain. Like, it just feels more creamier. It is more pigmented, um, and that's kind of what I like. I just like that a little bit better. And the color of this is so, so pretty. It's so, so good. I absolutely love this blush. It's just competing against some really top tenders in here. And I don't reach for it as much anymore because I kind of like the finishes of the ones that are in top more. <laughs> so the packaging, A++, beautiful with the light pink and the stars. I mean, it's Gucci. The packaging is great. I don't, it's like lightly scented, and the Givenchy is even lightly scented. Nothing compared to the Girl On. Holy cow. But so there is that one next to it. Absolutely beautiful. Really do love the Gucci. It's just that I'm not reaching for it as much these days. I've got these other blushes that are coming in higher that I prefer more. But absolutely beautiful formula and color. Okay, coming in at number seven is the Westman Atelier Baby Cheeks Blush Stick in Chauchette. Now, I love this blush. Absolutely incredible. Number seven, a little bit more closer to 10 because I just, when I sit down on my desk, I have others that I reach for. But when I am going on the go, I have a mini, uh, not Chauchette, but um, Petal and uh, Dodo. I don't know if that's how you say it or not, but I have um, many blushes um, from West Metale that I use when I go on the go. But this one is, I absolutely love this color. Chauchette is gorgeous. The packaging is incredible. It's a cream stick blush and it's so, so easy. I just, <laughs> the competition is steep, man, because I really, really, really love this color. And I love to build this blush up. And it's really good for a um, no makeup makeup day. <laughs> um, I don't usually prefer it when I have a full face. Because it's not, I don't, I don't think it builds up on itself the best. You know, if I want like a super pigmented cheek, I have others that I prefer. This is just a very good on the go option for me. So coming in at number seven, but absolutely incredible. I mean, this stick formula is the only stick formula that made it into my top 10 because it is chef's kiss fabulous. Okay, number six is the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil in Bailey, Barely Blushing. <laughs> wow, um, this is the color I have. I only have one color of this one. And it is in absolutely incredible cream blush. It's very sheer, so it is definitely good for a no makeup makeup day. <laughs> That's what I would use it for. Um, and it's so easy to use, foolproof. I absolutely love this formula, but not when I want a super built up blush look, right? It has a time and a place. That's why it's coming in at number six, but it's absolutely gorgeous and I would 100% pick up more colors. It's just, I haven't yet. So that says something. Number six. Okay, top five. Coming in at number five in the middle is the Dior Rosy Glow Blush. I have mine in the shade 012 Rosewood. Now this is a little bit newer to my collection as well. Um, I absolutely love this color. And it did, it took me a long time to pick this up because they just, they don't swatch very well, right? We've all seen it. We've all seen how they just don't swatch well. <laughs> it's a more buildable formula. I've just done like four passes on my hand so you can see the color at least. This is Rosewood. Um, 
there it is on my finger. I mean, you can kind of see it on my finger. It looks incredible on the cheeks and I absolutely love it. It's not super glowy, um, but it does have a little bit of a glow and a sheen and it's really healthy and beautiful looking. I really, really love the color. The packaging is super cute, not weighted and like glamorous. It's more, it's plastic, but I mean, for what it is, it is beautiful and I love it. However, I'm not running out to pick up more colors because it's just, it's really, really good. And I love using the one that I have. I just don't know if the other colors are really calling my name. So, you know, there's that. Number five, but I do love it. I've loved it every time I've used it. It's a really good formula. It's worth the hype. It is. It's really, really beautiful. Coming in at number four, this one really surprised me and actually excites me quite a bit. <laughs> this is number four, the Dolce and Gabbana Cheeks and Eyes Match Lasting Blush and Eyeshadow Powder. I have mine in 01 Blissful Mauve. This is an incredible, incredible formula. It is extremely pigmented, very creamy. I absolutely love this color. I love this color. It's like ah, just a teeny bit more pinky mauve than the Gucci. Um, the packaging is so, so pretty. I'm not running out to pick out more colors because I'm just so satisfied with this one. And I love how pigmented this formula is. Number four, closer to the top because it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous on the face. It's very smoothing. It's very pretty. I love this color. It's just so good. The packaging is weighted and beautiful. And I just prefer it a little bit more than the rest. You know, it's just like, it's so good. But I don't have more colors. I kind of, I don't know. I'd be willing to look into it. Dolce & Gabbana has really impressed me. All the stuff that I picked up from the line, this is incredible. So I might have to check out more colors. But so far coming in at number four, incredible formula. So, so good. So worth the money. Love it. Love it, number four. So good. <laughs> all right, so my top three, all three of these formulas, I actually have more than one color of because I'm willing to go out and spend my money on this formula, these three top three formulas, because they are that good and I need more colors. So that really shows me what is in my top, what I'm willing to purchase more than one of, right? So coming in at number three is the House Labs Color Fuse Blush. This is the shade French Rosette. This is my favorite of the two colors that I do have. Um, I just picked up the two newer shades that she came out with. Um, House Labs just recently reformulated their blushes and there is French Rosé. So pretty. It's such, it's not as cool toned as that um, Dolce & Gabbana. It's like a nice, peachy warm rosy color it's so beautiful and I, this is more of a matte formula but it feels like a cream it's a powder that when you touch it feels like a cream super pigmented really really beautiful it lasts really well on the face it's so good absolutely incredible i think i need to pick up more colors of this one i really really enjoy this house labs Coming in at number three, it's so good. Love it. Okay, so number, the top two. <laughs> top two are going to come to no surprise to you if you've been around my channel for any length of time. <laughs> so number two is Patrick Ta. This is my favorite shade right now. This is the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush in the shade Not Too Much. This is the newest shade of his from my collection. From, no. What? This is this is the newest shade that I have in my collection. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he comes out with new colors of these all the time. And this is the newest one that I've picked up. And this is incredible. It is definitely not too much. Let's see. What are we going to do? Um, cream? No. Powder than cream. Right? Yeah. I'm going to swatch the powder and then the cream, just like how I wear it on the face. It is absolutely 
gorgeous. These are the longest lasting blushes. Probably has something to do with the, you know, powder and then the cream on top <laughs> situation. But they last so well. He has incredible colors for every single skin tone. I mean, look at that. Look at that swatch. It is so beautiful. Not too much is right there. So I have not too much. She's so LA. She is blushing and she is flushed. And they're all gorgeous. They are so pigmented and they pack such a punch and the formula is incredible and you can use just the cream or just the powder or layer them like I do. They are so gorgeous. They're just so good. They are so good. I absolutely love them. I love these blushes. I love them a lot. They're amazing. Incredible. Only second to my number one top favorite blush of all time. <laughs> Coming in at number one is my RMS. I have every single shade in the line that RMS has. This is, or that they've come out with so far. My favorite out of all of them right now is Maiden's Blush. This is a very pretty, like, I don't know how to describe it. Where should I swatch it for you? Right here. It's a very pretty, mauve like hmm, mauvey pinkish it's i mean it's very very similar to dolce and gabbana the blissful mauve is what it's called so but it has a sheen where dolce and gabbana is more of a matte skin like finish almost rms has a sheen they have this absolutely gorgeous embossing and sheen in every single one of the colors and that's what I love. I love that not glittery, not highlighty. It's just a very healthy sheen in those blushes. And every single one of them has it. And they're so, so beautiful. I did a whole video where I swatched every single one of the colors, all 10 of them on my face. So you could see what they all look like. And they're incredible. They are so, so good. My number one formula to date, they're refillable. I just love every single one of the colors and the formula is amazing. They look so beautiful and I mean, go check out the video if you wanna see them all in the face. They're so good. Okay, that's my top 10 blushes. I love them. <laughs> they're all so awesome. And I do have others that didn't make it into the top 10 ranking. I'm planning on doing a vanity tour here soon. I got a request for that. So I'll take you through all my drawers and kind of show you, um, you know, what my collection entails. So, but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video, the top 10. I hope that you found it helpful. And let me know down in the comments, what's your favorite blush right now? What are you loving? Let me know what you want me to rank next. And with that, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. Give this video a thumbs up if you love videos like this. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Support. And I was going to say something else, but I messed it up. <coughs> I'm going to take those swatches off my hand. Get ready to swatch the rest. <laughs>